Hello, Mr. Klassen. Uh, I'm glad to see you. European uh, Sambo Championship in uh, Israel, Haifa 2023. Uh, and what do you think about Sambo? Uh, for us, Sambo is, is like a very complete sport with many yeah, different items from judo, like wrestling, uh, grappling, and that, that combined is, is for us like Sambo. Sambo in, uh, in the Netherlands? We, we have not, we have not many clubs. We have a lot of judo, many, many judo. Uh, then we have a, a lot of uh, BJJ and a lot of grappling. But, but Sambo is, is in Holland is very small. So, so uh, not many people uh, practice in Sambo. But people who are practicing, uh, especially seniors, are, are high level competitors. But the sports is. is yeah, it's, it's, it's like really small, so many from our athletes are coming from judo. But we had a lot, we had, we had like uh, totally, I think, 22 competitors in all weight categories. So for Holland it's, 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 it's big. Uh, at the seniors we had uh, like 11. Uh, one female got injured, uh, but she was the European champion from last year, second world last year. But her knee is uh, injured, so she didn't compete uh, at the last the day before. Uh, so now you're at 10, 10 seniors. What do you think about the results all championship mm -hmm. for your team? Yeah, we, we noticed that uh, like uh, our cadets, it's very difficult because uh, uh, the physical physical thing is for us, it's, it's very difficult. But when they get older, uh, we noticed that we are yeah, getting uh, more progression and even more results. So, so cadets, we always know that's very difficult to, to get a prize on the podium. Uh, then we go to the youth tomorrow. Uh, I think we have maybe one who can get a medal from the four we have. Uh, juniors is the same as cadets. It's, it's physical, it's for us very difficult because in Hungary we have many restrictions uh, on practicing Sambo. So many things uh, that belong in Sambo are not allowed in Holland with youth. So that's, that's the difference. And then seniors, I think we're doing very, very well. Seniors. We had like uh, last year we had. Uh, Two medals at the World Championships, females, two seconds. Uh, the last uh, Europeans in Serbia, we had uh, four medals at the seniors. Uh, and this year we have like uh, three medals and uh, two fifth places. So. Uh, what do you think about the future for Dutch Sambo? Uh, the, the future, I think, for us is, is good because we're now uh, almost two years like in a combined uh, fighting center in Holland. Well, uh, the Olympic Committee in Holland, they, they contacted us and we are now like in, in some kind of partnership uh, with the Taekwondo Federation, Karate Federation, Wrestling Federation, uh, Sambo, uh, Boxing, uh, Judo, uh, not all but some and they are all in one center uh, to train there so I think we are we're developing uh, but for us the IGF rules are difficult because many Judo players who win a medal are not allowed to compete in Sambo. So that's for us it's like yeah, try. Okay but uh, but uh, but uh, Dutch Sambo have a future. Yes yes yes, yes definitely definitely yeah okay. definitely. Uh, please uh, uh, say uh, something for for Sambo people uh, in the Dutch or Sambo people from uh, around the world. Say something. Uh, what what do you want to say? I I I think that it's 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 like a big family. It's like uh, when you go to Sambo, it's like everyone is is fighting, but everyone is friends. So that's what I think. It's the best of Sambo, and I think that nowadays uh, many countries are connecting, training together, working together. So it's it's not only the sports, but it's also the connection that that makes Sambo. I think a, a big future. Yes, we're always happy. Uh, where we can fight and where we can uh, meet our friends from over the world, then it's good. Thank you very much, thank you very much. and good luck. Yeah, thank you.